people in Hollywood can act, write, sing, dance, produce, and above all, just make us laugh all the time, which Martin Short has been doing now for more than 30 years. And now the Emmy and Tony winning actor is back on Broadway in the very funny show, It's Only a Play. Martin playing a TV star, supporting his best friend, who's anxiously awaiting opening night reviews of his new show. And as they like to say, hilarity ensues, especially if Martin Short is on stage. It is good to see you, Good to see you, gentlemen. Hey. You know, so, and ladies. Yeah, you were so fantastic in this role. I, I, I got to see it this past weekend. But you didn't want to do this. What changed your mind? Well, I didn't. Um, I, I was I was hesitant that there was enough time. I only had 10 days in, in December to rehearse it mm -hmm. because I was going to you know, take my kids to Jamaica, and I wasn't going to cancel that. And um, But I had a dinner in October with Mike Nichols. Mm -hmm. And he said, uh, so you're doing the play? And I said, uh, I'm not sure if I am. And then he phoned me the following way and said, no, you're doing the play. And I'll tell you why you're doing the play. Because it is a hit, and it's a perfect role for you. And very few times the stars line up. And I went, yes, sir. Yeah. When you get that call, yeah, yeah you don't turn that Part down. Part of what I love about it, number one, the cast. I mean, you've got you, Matthew Broderick, Stocker Channing, just to name a few. But it's also, okay. although it was written 30 years ago, it's been updated. Yeah. And the references mm -hmm. in the play would seem to me change week to week or month week to, to week, month. Week to week, absolutely. Yeah. I mean, there's a moment where the coke guy brings in a coat this big and he says, Daniel Radcliffe's leaving, <laughs> yes. you know. <laughs> or Lady Gaga, <laughs> yeah. another of the coats. That's yeah. right, yeah, that's, yeah, that's right. But that makes it fun, right, to just kind of oh, improvise so, the, that way? The play is so much fun every night. I mean, we're in tuxedos, yeah. and it, you know, it takes place at an opening night party waiting for yeah. the New York Times review. And that's act one, act two, we get the New York Times review. Yes, you do. <laughs> yes, you do. <laughs> now, having been reviewed, do you ever want to get the real review? Like, do friends, when they say, eh, nah, You know, you I, I, think that, I think that sometimes even good reviews can be dangerous yeah. because yeah. they say, oh, when Mr. Short moved his arm in that emotional way to reach the glass, <laughs> and the next night you're like, <laughs> so, so you want to avoid that. But you also have to kind of read the review in the yeah. city you're in. Because when it's a pan and people say, are you okay? Oh. And you think, what could they have said? It's going to be worse than what you imagine. Right. But uh, generally, you know, it's better to keep those out of your brain. Absolutely. Yeah. You know, in addition to, of course, loving the play, your memoir, you were so open about your life. And you thought about being a social worker? Yeah, I was. I was going to be a doctor for a while until I realized I didn't care about science. I was just a fan of the TV show Quincy. <laughs> and that, that isn't really enough to keep you going. So then I switched to social work. It gave me more time to do, you know, theater and stuff at university. And then I left as an actor. Perfect four years ago. Perfect experience. Quincy, though. Yeah, yeah I would have been. Well, I would have been to the, the stage. Yeah. 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 There you go, Quincy. <laughs> 1972 production of Godspell. Yeah. You, Gilda Radney, yeah. Eugene Levy, Victor Garba, and Paul Andrea Shaver. Mo yeah, Andrew Martin. Paul came in, and uh, <laughs> even then he looked like a Mater D in a spaceship. And he came in. <laughs> to play for a girlfriend, and Stephen Schwartz said, I don't know about her, but who's that guy playing a piano like no one in this world can play? And he made a musical director right in the spot. It was kind of amazing. Awesome. Well, I have to ask you about something that's in our notes, and you can confirm or deny it. Yes. True or false, you, Steve Martin, and Tom Hanks go every year and have a joint colonoscopy. <laughs> Not every year. Oh. Uh, because, uh, no, you have to go every year, but you, 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 we go, yes, we've done that three but times. But you can if you want We've done it three times in our friend Walter Parks. We, we go to Steve's house, and we, you know, it's catered with broth and jello. Oh, my God. <laughs> it's true. And, then, and who would know, with Steve's wealth, there'd be one bathroom. But That's the one thing we didn't. That, what's the backstory? I mean, how does that come up? The backstory. Uh, <laughs> His one I bathroom looks like day 15 of a carnival cruise. Oh, like, yeah. And you know, <laughs> we're going to be talking to the Backstreet Boys in just a little bit. See what I'm saying? I, it's a segue. Oh, Al, I'm very good at segues. <laughs> Martin Short. Oh, my it's gosh. only a play. How long are you? Uh, uh, to March 29th. Go All right. now. See it now. It's a must-see. Come to New York and see the show. Martin, it's so great to have you here. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Always a delight. Did you meet Tamron Hall? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. She's here for Thursday. She's don't part forget. of our colonoscopy group. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Speechless now. I'm not I would love to visit. I'm just, I would watch. I would. Oh, 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 oh my God. God. Oh, I'm sorry you had to hear this. Oh, I, <laughs> please remember. This, is, this isn't live, is it?
think you think we're taping a rerun or something? <laughs> what's going, what's going on? Jello. We'll be right back. <laughs>